Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Crafting with Megan with It's Megan here. So today, as you already see, I have one window glass art already done. If you want to watch that video, it'll be in the description below. It's not dry yet, but it will be soon, in about a day, in a couple hours. But right now, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this pumpkin, on this jack-o'-lantern. There's, there's a pumpkin right here next to it, but I'm going to do this jack o lantern so... I am going to start with a nice bright orange. If I had a nice bright orange. I have this, but it's sort of empty. But, uh, we're going to do with orange, and we're going to do black and a little bit of brown. So here is our little bit of brown. And basically what this is, is that it is, it's paint or a glue type thing for your window. So for the holidays or whatever the case may be, you can just, when this dries, you just sort of stick it onto the window and it'll just peel right off. Or if it's stingy, you use an ice scraper from your car. <laughs> Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to find some spot on this plastic foil. Unfortunately, I did a silly thing and I did this one almost smack dab in the middle. So, not the best thing to do if you want to do more at the same time. But we'll hopefully make it work. So, this, this is about as much room as I have for the stem and, and, and for the bottom of the pumpkin. So hopefully it'll work out. And I think I'm going to outline it with the color black. Just outline it all. Maybe, maybe not the pumpkin lines, but we'll see what we can do. So, just gonna start from the top. And it's also, it's a lot easier to start from the top rather than starting from the bottom. Starting from the bottom is really difficult because you can sort of smudge your picture and mess up and it's, just, it's, it's not that pretty. So I'm starting from the, from the bottom, or from, from the top, from the bottom in the video where you're looking at it, but for me it's the top. And just sort of go all the way around. You don't have to have your nozzle be too high up. You can place it just on the plastic and it works just fine. So basically, if you're a good tracer, this is perfect for you. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, if you saw the other video, I did draw all of these myself. So, I just... It's so easy. I have them for almost every holiday. You just go online, look for the topic that you want to color or draw, paint, and you'll, guaranteed, you'll find something. So, I just kind of sketched it on here on this, on this big paper. So, that's basically it. The, this box did come with some outlines already. But they're not the most attractive, and they're just, they're not really the kind of thing that I would like to paint. So, if you choose to do your own, it's just, it's really simple. So, there we have it, I would say. Looks like a scary jack o' lantern already. So, that was just, that was the black for the outline. Now we are going to use the orange, very little what's left of it, unfortunately. 
and we are going to color in the pumpkin. If I can get it open. The one unfortunate thing about this paint is that it does get clogged up, I guess you could say. The, the paint sort of dries around the nozzle and, oh, look, sometimes that happens. Here's the open container and the nozzle is inside. Yay! So, not too much of a tragedy. If that does happen to you, you just get out your uh, <laughs> handy dandy uh, tweezers and you just tweeze it right out of there. Squeeze it, sort of pluck it out of there. Hmm. This one's being really upsetting. <laughs> to me, at least. It's just it's really stuck in there. Oh my goodness, this sucks. Oh, this really sucks. Gorsh. Ah. Oh no. I really hate it when they get stuck. I really do. These nozzles are just ugh. really crappy, I have to say. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, yeah. That nozzle is stuck. Great. I'm just going to use this little bit of paper towel that I have and just sort of wipe off my tweezers here. Oh, oh good. I, I got some on me. But you know what? That's, that's perfectly fine because this stuff is easily to wash off and when you wash it off you can just peel it. Or peel, peel the rest off with your hands. So, nothing too dangerous about them. more or less. Fine, we'll start with the brown. Here we have our brown and we're going to, we're just going to do the stem and I guess the lines as well. So there, there was our stem. That was, that was so hard. And then, hmm, I could, I could, would you prefer an apricot pumpkin? Let's go with an apricot pumpkin. So, this nozzle opened perfectly, yay! So let's just go, go over the lines of the pumpkin. You know, pumpkins sometimes have ridges, so we're just gonna go over them smoothly like that. And I'm not really tracing my lines as well as I have before, but you know, it doesn't have to be an exact copy. You know, we, we don't want to be dealing with any copycats. <laughs> Just a couple of lines. Not too bad, right? <laughs> Looks kind of funny right now, but that'll soon be changed. So starting with our apricot glass paint, because unfortunately our orange is not only not just half full, but the nozzle doesn't want to work with us. So I'm just going to fill in these spaces with the skin colored 
apricot paint. And going in with the paint, if you've already outlined it, you don't really have to be as exact as if you were starting from scratch, I would say, because the paint sort of infuses itself with the traced lines already. And if you see that the brown is sort of disappearing a little, that's fine. Alright, well you might not want to see this, but I just sort of pulled this out of the nozzle. It was just an old, dry, sticky, fun, funky looking paint. Paint. It does happen, but uh, it's just it's easy to pull out. It's really fine. It's, it's not damaging to the nozzle. But uh, it's kind of gross when you have to dig it out with your fingers. So we're almost halfway done with the pumpkin. Just gonna quickly fill this in. Sometimes the colors do mix in with each other. There's really nothing you can do except for sort of trying to put it on one side. Like here, this brown sort of mixed in with the orange or with, with this apricot color. And that's okay, it does happen, like I said. It, it's not completely fixable, but you can sort of adjust your mistake to your liking. We are done with the orange color. It's not the cutest looking pumpkin, pumpkin I've ever seen, but maybe let's, let, let's just consider it a Thanksgiving looking jack-o'-lantern. So now I'm just going to fill in, fill in the eyes and the mouth with probably just black. And in case you're wondering, when this paint dries, the color is slightly different than when you first put it on, when you first apply it. It is a nice, a nicer, brighter color. So if, if the color that you're applying to, to your plastic and you think, well, you know, that's not really the color I wanted. I wanted a little bit brighter. Don't worry. Wait till it's dry and you'll, you'll see how nice it looks at the end. Kind of messed up on the nose there. So 
There we have our teeth, and for the center, we're going to put some of the apricot in. Gotta undo the nozzle first, you know, take off the cap and all. There, there I have my nozzle. Oh, sometimes. Like I said, not the most attractive looking color for a jack-o'-lantern, but it is what it is, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you care to see what it looks like dry and on the window, maybe tune in for the next episode of Creativity with Megan and you'll find out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!